guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So today's video is going to be a spring haul because the sun is finally starting to shine, the weather's lifting, it's going beautiful outside and we're all stuck indoors. Regardless of the situation, I've actually been shopping because the weather is lovely and I wanted to update my wardrobe for the new season. I'm gonna try on a mix of outfits from stuff that's new in my wardrobe and recently purchased. Thinking about the spring, for me, um, it's still a little bit chilly. Uh, I need like everyday comfortable things, but also a few sort of like everyday pieces that feel a little bit elevated. So stuff like this, like really interesting piece of knitwear here. It's got a balloon sleeve, a pop of color, a really nice print or Die. Um, and then a few like really nice structured pieces which will go with jeans for like going out, events, the classic work shirt, um, just an update on that. So I've got a real mix here, a lot of denim thrown in as well in new styles and shapes for spring. So yeah, let's get it tried on. So this is my first look. This is actually all Topshop apart from the shoes which are from Revolve. I picked up this top because I've just been seeing a lot of these like really cute 90s tops. Tops are a great way to update your wardrobe, especially for new seasons. And I just love the really boned corseted style of this one. It wasn't expensive at all, it also comes in black. But I got the ivory because it just feels a little bit lighter, a little bit fresher for spring. I've actually paired it with these really lovely jeans from Topshop. I really like them because they're a perfect example of getting a straight baggy leg which is super super fashionable right now but also it's got that really nice high waist um, it's buttoned down and it's quite fitted around this area so it keeps a little bit of femininity you've got like a really nice structure and form-fitting shape but then the leg is super baggy you can see that I've rolled them up as well because they are a bit long on me I'm five foot five one six five centimeters for reference in this instance I've gone with a thong mule on my feet these are from revolve so a little bit spenny but yeah the white is just super fresh for spring so I just thought this was a really nice way to invest in a new style of denim for the coming season I just love the fit so so nice on the waist okay so let's move on to knitwear this is probably my favorite knitwear piece in the whole haul for spring I've got here on this rail um, because it's just a little bit interesting and I'm seeing this sage green and pistachio around a lot right now. I really like how there's a little, quite a bit going on in this knit so it makes it a little bit of a statement piece. It's quite trendy. So I got a size small which is basically a UK 8 to 10. It's got a kind of boat neck which I really like. My favorite bit is the sleeve though. It's super voluminous like we're not seeing volume going anywhere for 2020 spring. I like how the the sleeve is a little bit tighter so it just adds to that accentuates that sort of shape. It's also cropped so it's going to go really well with a nice pair of high-waisted jeans which we're seeing a lot of right now and I just love the ombre effect. So this is what it looks like on. As you see I've got those same like skater girl jeans on so super high-waisted it kind of meets it just at the right point. I'm just going to tuck it in though so it don't get any like <laughs> chilly spring breezes up my chest. But yeah, love the sleeves so much. You can see how those sort of the slim bits here fall on the hand really nicely. Just looks like really luxury even though this wasn't expensive at all. And yeah, the knit just feels so fresh. Really nice green and ivory colours for spring. I love it. It's the perfect knit that will go with jeans like elevate a look. So I could just pop on these mules over here, get a little handbag. And then go from like just being casual at home in trainers, jeans and a sweater and then elevating the look to be like, I can meet my friends for dinner in this look, I could even go on a date. So it's just like, it's just one of those elevated knits that I think you should invest in like one a season just because it's going to be really on trend. And I absolutely adore this one. Next up, we're jumping back to basics. Uh, I always replenish my basics at least twice a year. I live in jeans and t-shirt and if it's colder, jeans, t-shirt and jumper. So having a set of t-shirts in my wardrobe that is like sort of an essential for me but I'm really really funny about the shape I told you guys before in that Everlane haul I did I love the Everlane air t-shirt it's really nice baggy lightweight perfect for layering under jumpers this for me though is my idea of a fantastic like wear alone t-shirt the reason I love it is because it's got a really nice wide chunky neckline it feels almost like a borrowed from your boyfriend t-shirt What's so important though is the where the sleeve hits. It hits just above the crease of the elbow, which is what lends itself to that sort of like oversized luxury tee look. They have them in black, they have them in another color, and they have them in gray. I got gray and black, and it was only $8.99. So let's see what it looks on. In my opinion, the perfect t-shirt. I think it looks really cool untucked, especially with these baggy jeans. I've got a really nice open-toed square mule, sort of like Bottega style, which is gonna obviously elevate the outfit. If you wanna be a little bit more feminine, have a little bit 
bit more shape and just tuck it in just like that it's a top in itself it's not something to be hidden under a sweater I don't think it just feels just really luxe it's got a little bit of heaviness to it as well I'm stocking up on these I absolutely love them also they'll go really well with skinny jeans as well if you are a skinny jean girl you like something that's a little bit more slimming on the leg then you can always have a little bit more unisex feel and like layer that over your slimmer jeans put it with a heel put it with a boot I just love these I think they're staples I'll link every single color that H&M do down below so you guys can have a look all right so sticking with the basics category I've actually been on the lookout for a Breton t-shirt in a sort of unisex style for a really long time I've actually lost count of the amount of times I've purchased a Breton t-shirt I've got it home it's just not been the right fit there was a little bit of a trend like a few years ago to like drop the seam and I just think that's like it was just super uncool it's like it's it's really rare to find the seam on the shoulder and that in my opinion is what makes a breton tee long sleeve breton tee like actually quite cool weekday have a really great example i'm actually not sure if this is like dark green or a black stripe i thought it was a black stripe when i bought it but i'm not entirely sure it might look different after a wash to be honest but I think this is the perfect shape long sleeve Breton tee. I also sized up to a medium as well because I do want that slightly oversized fit. So let me put it on and I'll show you. I'm glad I sized up. It's just, it, it's perfect fit to be honest. I would tuck it into jeans like this. Um, I could even chuck a blazer over it and it would just be one of those classic sort of French chic looks. I like that it's slightly longer on the sleeve. It is an oversized fit and I did size up, but that's, I like that. If, then, if it was in the way, I would actually just do a really casual roll like that. Maybe take it to the elbow creases, something like that. But yeah, I just think it's a great everyday top. It makes it a change from wearing something plain and I think it's just a good investment, especially for spring. I'm really excited about this. It's definitely the most colourful thing on the rail. It's the time of year when you see the shops get absolutely inundated by bright colours, polka dots, florals, crazy patterns and like there's literally colour everywhere. It's only in recent years have I been more strict with myself because I love colour but it turns out I don't really like wearing it that much. So I get a bit confused. I go into the shop and I'm like oh my god there's just colour everywhere. It's amazing, it's amazing. I pick it all up, I take it all home and I never wear it. Saying that I have realised that bold one colour pieces are more my thing and it's actually a way I like to introduce colour into my wardrobe without it being too overwhelming so you won't ever see me in a really bright colourful floral dress the pattern with the colour is too much for me I'll take the pattern in a neutral I'll take the colour if it's not fussy I think this Pepto Bismol pink is just beautiful it just screams spring it's a nice lift it goes with denim it will go with neutrals blacks camels even like wearing it with red at the moment. It's very, very fine knit. It's lightweight, but it's it's a good weave, which means you're not gonna get like the winds coming through the material and like chilling you to the bone. This is Topshop, and I got a size small, which is a UK eight to 10. I love this color. I love this color. Uh, can you imagine though, this color was like mixed into a dress in a print, just be too much. But this is perfect. It's with jeans. I can put it with camel trousers, I can put it with black leather trousers. I love the colour, so as you can see how it fits on me, it's super nice. It's got those long sleeves again. I'm finding a lot of my knit wear that I'm picking up has that sort of slightly covered hand that's trending right now in knits, especially in the cuff area. And then, yeah, we've got the little volume on the sleeves. I've just done a, a simple French tuck, just so you can see the waistband. It's a bit of an awkward length, so it's like, I wouldn't wear it like that. Like that. <laughs> this jumper was made to be tucked in. Yeah, I like it. The neckline's really nice. It's kind of like a slash neck and for 32 pounds I don't think you can go wrong. Next up I'm going to change my jeans. I've got another pair of jeans from Topshop right now and these again are also part of the Conscious collection with them. I tried this on in store and I put it on my Instagram and you guys went crazy for it. So many people messaging me asking me when the Paris jean was coming to store. Well it's actually in store now, you can get it in this blue wash and a black wash. This jean was basically modelled on the Celine jeans that are out at the moment that everyone's going crazy for. I'll put them on for you now, I'll show you what we can style them with because it's a really nice way to elevate your look but still wear denim. Just before I put a look together I'll just show you what I'm pairing it with. I picked up this and other stories cardigan. I had my eye on it for ages, it's definitely an investment piece for me especially from the high street considering it was £75 and I know you can't feel it guys but believe me when I say it, it is so soft and it feels such good quality like it's thick but it's not chunky. I love the colour. Obviously nudes are just wardrobe staples. If I take care of this it should last me years and I don't see why not because 
it's a really nice quality piece. I got one because I didn't have one. I don't have an oversized cardigan. So I thought I'm gonna invest. I've got it in a size small. Let's see what it looks like on. I've just tied my hair back so you can see a little bit better. Now a lot of knitwear, especially ones that you get off the high street, they can be a little bit itchy. I've got absolutely nothing on under this other than a bra and it feels so super soft against my skin. So that's nice, I can wear it without having to layer, but if I was gonna layer, and I probably would, I'd probably put like a little silk camisole underneath, maybe a plain one, or maybe one with a little bit of lace. And I think this style of knit goes so well with these jeans. I could wear them with those um, sort of like skater girl jeans that I showed you earlier, but I feel like this jean is like a little bit more feminine, it's a little bit more sophisticated. I feel really, really on trend, really, really put together. I love this style of jean. It's um, a little bit lower than the ones I showed you before. Not as high waisted, but it kind of sits on the natural waistline. It's a fly zip closure, five pockets. And again, it's just really nice and fitted around the bum, hips and thighs. And it's got that really nice, subtle slope to a flare at the end. I just love them. I think they're great. Really, really great pair of jeans. It's a medium wash, classic blue. I love it. It's a mold, honey. It's a mold. So we've been casual, we elevated, now we go back casual again. You know when you go online, you're on Instagram, you're scrolling mindlessly, you see a top and you're just like, I fucking love that top. And you click through, you see how much it is, that's a good price. And then you see that they have your size in stock, you're like, I'm not even thinking about it. I'm not even going to add other things to the basket. I'm just going through the checkout, I'm going to get that premier delivery and it's coming to my house now. It's exactly what I did with this top. I saw it and I just fell in love with it. And I'll tell you why, it's just so me. I just, I'm obsessed with tie-dye, like in my heart of hearts, I'm a little bit of a boho queen even though my day to day is quite minimal, chic, pared down unisex, I just love tie dye. So the fact that this was tie dye, it was a sweater, I wear sweaters every single day, it's also a bright, almost neon teal blue, I was like, I've gotta have this. It's from the Topshop Boutique range. I got size 10 because I didn't want to risk getting an eight, which is my true size and it being just a little bit too small. It's just something that I saw and I love. So I'll put it on, I'll, I'll show you. I can appreciate it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I'm obsessed. So you know how they say that you should buy clothes that, you know, make you feel good? Well, this is definitely like a feel good top for me. I put it on, I look in the mirror, I'm like, I fucking love that blue. I love it, I love it, love it, love it. This is what it looks like. I'm wearing it with jeans. This is exactly how I would wear it. I would maybe wear it with like a cowboy boot, like a white cowboy boot. I would even wear it with my chunky Prada boots, my DMs. If I wanted a little bit more of a sporty look then I'm going to pair it with some white trainers. I feel like this has endless opportunities to go anyway really. It can be like really relaxed and charming and like kind of chill, chill vibes or it can be dressed up. It feels great too, it's like a lightweight sweater, it's not like super chunky. So we're gonna elevate again guys. I have here a classic shirt, and I think everybody should have one of these in their wardrobe, especially for spring. This is a really great example of an Oxford shirt, which is slightly oversized, button down, pinstripe from Topshop. I just think it's gonna be a really nice, you know, option for just making yourself look smarter, but still being super comfortable as well, and classic. All right, so here's the shirt on. As you can see, it is quite oversized. So if you are petite, you could wear this tucked in like this. I'm quite average in my height, so I'm just gonna wear it out. I like the boxy oversizedness. The romantic sleeves are my favorite bit though. I think it just, it's a point of difference amongst all the other like oversized masculine Oxford shirts that we see in the shops these days. And you just see how elegant that long sleeve is there with the buttons like because it's come in so it's so slim on the an on the, on the ankle <laughs> it's so slim on the wrist that it just like elongates the arm and i think it's super feminine i'm paired it again with those jeans like super feminine wide flares and then i've just got a mule on the bottom and then i've got my little belt bag by celine in there because for me this is quite like a worky look you can wear it with any jeans though honestly you put this the, the shirt is going to be the focal point whatever you wear underneath it's just like padding you know and I think it goes really well with denim as well because it's going to elevate the denim I think if you pair this with a tailored trouser it might be a little bit too much like too much tailoring going on like what's the focal point that's why I love this so much with with jeans because it's just this is what is everyone's going to look at it's this shirt okay so next up we've got this tank top from and other stories and it's not just any tank top it's like a nice luxury piece it's 35 pounds from and other stories which I feel is like the lower end of their price point I just think it'll be a nice way to to like be casual but still slightly luxurious and if you see up close there's like a really nice ribbed effect on the lower half of the bodice and there's like a knitted uh, sweetheart neckline. I would actually, now I've got it on, I would actually wear this with more boyish jeans. 
I do think the top is quite pretty, it's quite conservative, so I'd have to like make it a little bit cooler. So I would actually wear it with those baggier jeans that I showed you guys earlier. But yeah, I just think it's a really nice knit. It's it's really pretty, I love the detail on it. It's quite smart. It looks really nice with the hair tied back, low bun, bit of gold jewellery. Let me add a knit. This would be a nice thing to wear under this cardigan, I reckon. A little bit more conservative if you don't want to wear like a low cut cami with it. Or the next thing that I'm going to show you, if budget, wardrobe budget allows guys, I honestly think the black leather blazer is a place to invest in because I got this the other month and I have literally not taken it off. It's just so cool and it's such a lovely feel as well. This one's and other stories. I think it was about 250 to 275 pounds around that area, but that's kind of what you'd be looking to pay for anything that's a good quality leather bit of tailoring. There are cheaper versions on ASOS and a few other high street stores. I will link a few cheaper alternatives to this down below for you guys, but I will also link the real deal as well. I love this. It's single breasted. It's got some really nice deep pockets. I'm just putting this over everything. I'm putting it over t-shirts and jeans, as you can see here. I've got a vest and jeans. I'm layering it with hoodies and knit knitwear at the moment because obviously it's still March and it's not as warm as it, it, it will be. Another way I'm styling this blazer is also just chucking it on over a going out look. So for example, like a little strappy mini dress and heels, it just adds a little bit of masculine tailoring, a little bit of like sexy edginess to the look so it's not too feminine. This actually looks great over little floral micro dresses, believe me. Also if you're gonna wear like a skirt or a tailored pant and like a nice like boob tube, it looks really nice. Oh, I just, I love this. I'm just so glad I invested in it. It's super, super soft, very good quality. It's one of those like lifetime pieces I'll have forever. Like now that I have a black leather blazer, tick. I'm gonna show you another top. It's black, but black is a staple of my wardrobe come spring, summer, autumn, winter. I'm never gonna stop wearing black. But I actually love this top. Um, I think it's a really just gorgeous fit. It's got like sort of Victoriana inspired fit to it. They've got this like stretchy sort of um, torso bit here, a puff sleeve. Again, that long, elegant sort of slim arm bit. And then it's got a little flared sleeve at the end. It's just gorgeous. It's very, very flattering on. Everyone looks great in this top. It's just really nice and feminine. So great with jeans, great for going out, uh, put it on now. This is probably the most flattering thing in my haul. I absolutely love the shape. I said it before, I'll say it again. I just, it, I think it's just so, I'm kind of standing in front of the black. Let me move over here where you can see it a little bit better. So yeah, it's just, it's just, Gorgeous, like I love the way it fits across the, the breasts and it nips in at the waist again like that tiny little peplum Not a peplum fan, but love this and I just I just think it's just a cute top like it looks Really expensive, especially when I've got like a cute designer handbag on. Hold that thought. I actually wore this look out um, two weeks ago to a dinner before everything was cancelled because of coronavirus. Again, I would wear it with these mules. It's not really chic and put together. I love it when an outfit feels really put together and quite elegant and luxury and you're still wearing jeans. Like if you manage to pull that off then you're a fucking genius in my eyes. Next up I'm going to show you a dress. Haven't shown you a dress yet. I don't feel like I'm ready for a dress, so to speak, on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not warm enough. A sweater or knitted jumper dress I can totally get down with. It's like a neutral taupey colour, great for every day, and I love this because it's super, super soft. I almost got the large, in the end I went with the medium size, which is one up from a small, which is what I would normally get. I'll put it on now, I'll show you what it looks like, I'll also show you the kind of shoes I'll wear with this as well. To be honest, I could have could have gone for the large, I could have gone for the large, but here we are, this is how I'm going to be styling this jumper dress, as you can see, minimal leg on show, <laughs> just because I'm cold, not because I'm approved, okay, but yeah, I styled this with my DMs, this was kind of, when I saw this dress, this was kind of always the look that I thought I would put together, like a chunky black boot, also, probably going to wear these with my Prada boots as well, my monoliths, with like a chunky black sock as well, it's just kind of like comfort, utility, function, I just, I love it. I could, I'm could. i thinking now, maybe I should have gone for the large. Maybe it's not oversized enough. I like this look a lot, it's really cool. Let me put it with a bag. If I was like dipping out, I might sling over my uh, little bum bag like this. Just, I feel like quite free in this dress. Like it's it's covering me, it's keeping me warm. But also I just feel like it's a nice on the go sort of outfit as well. I picked this up in Urban Outfitters. It's a full length dark denim jumpsuit. I think this one will see you through 
at least until it's very very warm in the summer and then you will reach for it again in autumn you will use it in winter i have worn it out already the amount of compliments i got were through the roof honestly women love this item obviously the darker the color the more slimming it's going to look on the body we've got a zip closure here so you know you can wear it as low as you want to go honey don't mind me, you can wear it up, you can wear it down, you can wear it up, I'm somewhere around here. Front pockets on the breast, it's got this really cute tie here, and some really nice deep pockets here. It's just a great piece, like you put it on and you immediately feel put together, and that's what I love about it. Again, the back detailing, it's kind of like a denim jacket almost. And the legs, I wouldn't say they're flared, but they're definitely like long and a wide leg. I feel this look, man. I feel sassy as fuck and powerful and put together when I wear this. All right, so you can see that it really, really nips in the waist. I got an extra small and it was a bit of a gamble because I was like, do I need small? You know, especially when you're buying denim, especially when you're buying fitted like denim, like you always think, oh, do I need to size up in case it, like it, it, it's too like tight in certain areas? But the best thing about this jumpsuit is it's stretchy. So I thought I'm gonna go with my natural normal size, which is an extra small because even if it is tight in certain areas, it's got a little bit of stretch, it's got a little, little bit of give, it's gonna be fine, and it was. So I definitely recommend getting your normal size. If you're an eight or a six, definitely get an extra small. Tens, you could probably get into an extra small as well, but if you are a true 10, then maybe go for the small. But yeah, I just love it, I love it. I've got my uh, cowboy boots on with this. I would go to my most important meetings in this outfit. Charlie's in this. No? Yes? No? Yes? So this is my final look. Um, I just think a jumpsuit is great all year round to be honest and I saw this one in the store and I was like I'm gonna get it because I haven't had a shape like this and honestly it makes me feel good and that's what buying clothes is all about right? You want to make sure you feel good, you look good and they give you confidence and that's exactly what this does and I think it'll be an all year round type of piece. Thanks so much for watching the haul guys. Um, if you've got any questions about any of the pieces I mentioned do leave them down below in the comment section I'll get back to you. As always everything is linked down below um, if you want to have a look closely at anything or like go shopping yourself. Thank you so much for continuing to support my videos on my channel. It really means a lot to me. I appreciate every single one of you that's watching this video and you're liking it and you're subscribing to my channel means the world to me. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'm wishing you a lovely spring. See you soon!